some stocks which are in the news. One of them is Omax as part of their strategy to divest non-core assets. Omax has sold their entire holding in uh, their wholly owned arm, finishing touch properties. Mohit Goel, the CEO of the company, now joins in with more details. Hi, Mr. Goel. Thanks very much for speaking with us. First up, can you take us through um, uh, this uh, uh, the arm that you have, which is finishing touch properties. You've exited your entire stake. Is this what is amounting to 112 crores? Yes, absolutely. This is a 100% uh, holy subsidiary of our company, of our company, and uh, because we didn't have any project in Bishaka Patnam, so basically we wanted to exit that particular region and concentrate in those regions where we are already doing our projects, and so that we can concentrate uh, more on those cities and we can do bigger projects there. Okay. So, what are your other non-core assets that could be on the block? There are around uh, another two, three more land parcels which we are uh, talking to potential investors and buyers. So uh, let's see uh, what will happen. Uh, but there's a possibility that we close another transaction next uh, one, next three to six months as well. Okay. Um, can you tell us the total valuation of these two to three land parcels, which are non-core to you? So, so including Vishakhapatnam, we are thinking of divesting around 250 crores. Okay. Uh, which will be fetched out of these land parcels over a period of the next three to six months. And whatever amount uh, we're going to receive from these land parcels, we're going to put in our construction activities so that uh, our deliveries could be faster and uh, we can consolidate further. So as, as, a, as a company strategy, we are, we are concentrating more on uh, 10 cities, which are there in like ma majorly four states, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. So in these four states, we are concentrating majorly on 10 cities where we are already doing projects and where we have already de uh, delivered projects so that uh, we don't have to basically you know, wait to improve, uh, make our branding over there or uh, make people feel that uh, Omax is a very good brand because we have already delivered. So we are number one and number two player in those local markets. So it gets easier for us and uh, we are expecting huge potential of revenues from these 10 cities as well. Okay, so this 250 crores that you're saying is over and above the 112 crores from uh, your Vishakhapatnam property? No, that's including Vishakhapatnam. Uh, including, okay. Um, and okay. the Vishakhapatnam deal, we're going to be receiving payments in, by, uh, end of, say, 31st, by end of March. Okay, so you still... The total amount will be with us. 31st March, okay. So you still have close to about, you know, what you're hoping to realize, you know, about 130, 140 odd crores from sale of non-core assets. Would that come in uh, F516? Yes, F516. Okay. Uh, do you have any debt on your books? Because, uh, I mean, you're planning to use the entire proceeds just for uh, your construction. Is there any plan to retire debt if you have any? Yeah, we have around 1150 crores of debt in our book and uh, as I've said before as well, uh, the debt ranges, it always ranges for us between 800 to 1200 crores. Mm -hmm. We are uh, pretty much comfortable on debt side. I just want to improve because the next cycle is coming for real estate, hopefully in the next 6 to 12 months, hopefully the budget will be nice on 28th. So I think this is the right time to expand further and consolidate at the, t at the same time expanding, that's exactly what we're doing. And uh, we're comfortable on debt side, the debt, net debt equity ratio is around 0 0.4. So that's the reason we're just utilizing the funds to, uh, in construction activities. Will you look to buy any land parcels? We're doing that on a regular basis. Uh, every quarter we're buying uh, land parcels in those uh, huge townships where we're doing. For example, in Lucknow and Chandigarh, <coughs> we keep buying lands from 20 to 40 crores uh, per quarter. So that and uh, let's see if there's a good opportunity uh, coming in these 10 cities or in any other smart city opportunity is thrown in the market. We can uh, surely think of picking up that opportunity as well. Okay. Any fresh launches or uh, will you be just working on your existing launches like you said in Lucknow and uh, Ludhiana? No, recently we've launched uh, group housing in uh, Chandigarh, which is around 25 acres with mm -hmm. potential revenues of 1200 crores. And uh, we've launched two group housing in Lucknow with potential revenues of 1500 crores. We've received a very good uh, response for these two, uh, these two group housings because 90% of our residential exposure, or I would say portfolio, is all affordable. So, and affordable is actually uh, future, according to me, and I really think. Whatever uh, product to be launched, is, if it's affordable and it's in the range of, for affordable people, I think it, would be, it will sell. There will be no problem in terms of selling. So we're not facing any such problem selling because 90% stock of ours is affordable. 
Give us a sense about, uh, you know, the company's new launches uh, in F516. What would be the total, um, you know, the, the size of the launches that you're looking at? Uh, F516, I think we would uh, be able to manage pre-sales of around 1,800 to 2,000 crores in uh, these 10 particular cities which I mentioned oh, I in four states. And uh, on an average, uh, I, I think Lucknow and uh, Chandigarh would be the major contributor to those 2,000 crores and rest of the eight cities will, uh, will also contribute. So if you're seeing this uh, uh, demand, do you see realizations also going up? I think uh, your average realizations for Q3 were at 4,000 rupees, if I'm not wrong? Absolutely. Uh, because we actually shifted our focus from selling uh, group housing that is built up units more than plots. Because two years back, three years back, to improve our cash flow, we shifted to the plots as a product which has a lesser realization, average realization rate. But now, because we shifted our focus to build up more group housing, and, uh, so that's the reason our average cost of average realization rate has also gone up. So in future, FI 16, 17, I think our uh, realization rate will also improve by say 10 to 15% per annum. Okay, Moet, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in.